In this video, I'm going to be creating a step-by-step -step process that you can follow along with to get your very own WordPress site up and running in just a matter of minutes with the help of Seekerhost. So as you can see here, I'm on seekerhost.com and this is the website that you need to go on if you want to register your own domain name. So once you have a domain name, just type it in here. And once you've found a name that you're happy with, just add it to your cart and click continue. And the next thing we need to do is choose our add-ons. So the DNS management and the email forwarding is absolutely free with Seekerhost. I'd also recommend you getting the ID protection as well if you want to prevent any spam emails or phone calls and put in the website URL in the registrant name and click continue. Okay, so we're at the review and checkout page here. The next thing we need to do is just review our order, either create a new account or use an existing customer login. I already have my customer login, so I'm just gonna log back in here and go through the checkout process and I'll be back in a minute. So as you can see, our payment was successful. So that concludes the first step, which is registering your domain with seekhost.com. The next thing we need to do is come to plans, come to PBN hosting and choose which one's right for you. I already have a three IP PBN hosting plan at the moment. So I'm able to add this new domain to this plan as well. If you don't have a plan already, then choose whichever one's right for you. We offer up to 50 IP PBN hosting plans as well. The next thing we need to do after we've chosen our plan is come to private blogs up here and then come to create new blog and type in your blog domain. So ours is digitalhustle.co.uk and I'm going to call the blog title just digital hustle. And now we just need to wait for it to be updated. So as you can see in the status bar here, the website's online now. Remember not to refresh this while it's doing the uploading because it can take a minute or two. The next thing we need to do is go back to seacoast.com and enable our name server so we can get the website up and running securely. So come back to my domains on seacoast.com and click on the three dots here and click manage name servers. And then come down to private name servers and call this one NS1 and then you'll get this IP address from up here. and paste that in there, click save changes and type in NS2, the IP address again and then come back to name servers up here and now we need to create NS1 and NS2. So come up here and type in ns1.digitalhustle or whatever your domain is and just copy that and paste it here and change this to two. So we should only have two name servers, NS1 and NS2. And then click change name servers. And the change has been made successfully now. The next thing you need to do is get your email from seacoast.app with your new WordPress site login details. Here's mine. As you can see, here's the website and the login URL is just here. It also provides a username and a password for you as well. So click the URL. And if you're not brought through to the WordPress login page, wait five or 10 minutes and then try again and you will get through. Sometimes it can be a little bit slow on WordPress's end. So the next thing you need to do is use your username and password provided in the email. And just paste it in here. And here we go, we're in WordPress now. So the first thing that we need to do is modify our general settings. There's a few things that I'd recommend everybody to do when they set up their WordPress site. So let me just show you them now. Come down to settings at first and come to permalinks and tick this box here, post name. And what this means is, for example, say if you have a contact page, it will show it as digitalhustle.co.uk slash contact or contact us or whatever you've named the page. And this is a much better way to organize your website, making it a lot more navigatable and also helps your SEO ranking a lot as well. And once you've done that, just click Save Changes. And the next thing, just come to General and change your site title to something that looks a little bit more neat. So I'm just gonna put a space in the middle and capitalize. And for the tagline, I'm just gonna call it there. And once you've made those changes, just click Save. And the next thing we're gonna do is install our very first theme for WordPress. To do this, just come to Appearance and click Add New. 
and there's many different options here with WordPress and this is what's so great about it that you can literally choose any of these themes and in just seconds it will transform the whole look of your website. So have a look through here, see which ones you like. And once your theme's installed, just click on customize and then you can really play around with the colors and the structure of the site and the images that are on there as well. I'm actually gonna go back and use the default theme here, 2020, because it is a lot more simple to show you. So as you can see here, this is a theme at the moment. Uh, I've already played around with the colors a little bit, but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. You literally just come and choose the background theme, you can do that, and let's change this to white as well. So there we go, it's that easy. You can also change between full text and summary on your blog post as well. Uh, cover template, background image as well if you wanted to do that. And all you need to do is just make some changes here and click publish. And you can also view it on tablet and mobile as well through these options at the bottom of the page, which is very important in today's world because a lot of people using the internet are using tablets or mobile phones more than they are actually on computers as well. So if anything, you should be optimizing your site for mobile and making it look as good as possible on that platform. The next thing I'm gonna show you is uh, adding pages to your site as well. So just come to pages here in the left hand side and click add new. And the first page that we're gonna make is an about me page. So just type in about me. And then I would recommend writing an article on a separate platform. I use Apple Notes because I find it really simple. And I just paste it in here when I've written an article. And once you've pasted that in, just click publish. And as you can see on the website link, digitalhustle.co.uk slash about dash me. So that's a very nice little um, slug there at the end of that URL, which is gonna really help our SEO ranking. And it just makes it look a lot more professional, I think, on the website as well. So as you can see, the website's starting to take shape. Let's actually add a new page as well. So you can just do that in the top bar when you're on your website and click post. And I've got an article here that I've written, three side hustles for 2021. I'm just gonna use this as the first post on the website. Again, I've written it elsewhere and I'm just gonna paste it in. This is only a draft at the moment, this article, but it's okay for this video. And I'm gonna click update. And view the post. Yeah, this is quite good, but I think it should have an image or something on there as well. So I'm just going to edit the post again and click add and then add an image at the top. And if you grab on these dots here, you can drag parts from your uh, site anywhere you would like really. So I'm just going to go and add an image and I'll be back in a second. There we go. So now I've uploaded this image here that I think represents a side hustle quite well. And I feel like this ties the article quite well together. So I'm just going to click update now. And the next thing I'm going to do is to go back to the dashboard. And as you can see, we have two posts. We've got the Hello World, which is like some WordPress default one. But for the purposes of this video, I'm actually going to keep it there because I'm going to show you a really nice trick to how to get all of your blogs in your menu bar as well through an unclickable uh, submenu. To do this, go to Appearances and click Menus. And then create a new menu and just call it Menu 1. So add the about me page to the menu. And then post as well, just tick these. And then in custom links, what we're gonna do is just type a hash in there, and then we're gonna call this blogs. And I'm gonna show you why we're using this in just a second. So there we go, so now we've got hello world, so we're actually gonna drag here. As you can see, it's a sub item. And to make something a sub item, just drag it slightly to the right. And as you can see with a dotted line there, that means that it will go underneath blogs. So now we have our About Me page and our blogs page here. The next thing we need to do is just tick the display location as desktop horizontal menu and click save. And once that's saved, we can go and preview it. So as you can see up here, we have our About Me page that takes us straight through. And if we hover over blogs, we can see Hello World and Three Side Hustles for 2021. You can actually change the order of these as well just by using the sub item dragging feature and then dragging one above the other. And if we actually try and click on blogs, you can see that will keep us on this page as well. And that is because we use the hash symbol 
as the URL for the website. So that means that will keep us on that page and basically act as unclickable. As you can see, these articles are working fine as well. So let's go back to the dashboard now. The next thing we're going to do is install some plugins. Click Add New and search SEO. And All in One SEO is a fantastic plugin that you can use to basically manage all of the SEO for your website. Click Activate once it's installed. Here we go. So the plugin's installed now. So let's get started. And now we've registered for AIO SEO. As you can see, we have this awesome little information panel here. <clears throat> Once you connect with it, you can see your site score. Uh, at the moment, it's not very important, but say if you had a, a strong website, then you would really want to know what the ranking was for its SEO. So a plugin like this is absolutely key if you're running a business online and hoping to get some traffic through Google or Yahoo or Bing or any of the other search engines as well. There's one plugin that I really want to mention to you as well once you're building your website. If you come back to plugins and click add new and search Elementor, this is absolutely one of the best website builders that I've seen, not just on WordPress, but on any other website as well. This is an absolute must have if you want customization of your website building. I'm just installing it now and then once it's done activating it, I'm just gonna create my first page quickly through this. As you can see, we're in Elementor right now and we can add so many different features here with the, just the basic version as well. We can add text, images, headings, videos, buttons, dividers, spaces, Google Maps, icons, all of these things. So I would definitely recommend getting to grips with Elementor if you're building your website and you can really start to create the website of your dreams. But I'll come back to Elementor in another video. So for now, I'm just gonna jump out of this and go back to the dashboard. And one final thing that I want to mention as well is widgets. So if we come back to appearances and come down to widgets here, as you can see, we have all of these available widgets to us, such as archives, audio, calendars, categories. And these are really important as well for your website as well. So I definitely recommend having a look through these. And if you want to actually add any of them, all you need to do is just grab one and put it in there. There we go, a gallery's done. And we can just call this portfolio and add images if we'd like as well. It's that simple, really. And that's everything in my complete beginner tutorial for WordPress through Seekerhost. Hopefully you found this video interesting. And as you can see from this video, it'll only take a few minutes for you to get your very own website up and running.